Hey welcome, guys. welcome, 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 welcome. <laughs> Let's do. Let's do Virgo. No, I gotta do my Virgos. Oh, you mean pick a card? Yeah. Sure, not right this second though. Let's do Virgos by love. Let's do the first two weeks of March, okay? We got the sun. We got the sun. I feel you guys' health getting better. I don't know if it's a Virgo thing. I, well, I mean, it's definitely a Virgo thing as you guys rule that house of health. But, like, <coughs> bless you. I feel like somebody's on the men's here. Okay. Um, but this is also clarity coming in. Okay, when it comes to something that you're really happy about, something that you love, um, you're going to have to be patient on yourself or with somebody else because you're going to have a decision to make about a new start, okay? And at one point, it most definitely, definitely made you happy. You have the king of water. Kaden, please stop doing that. You have the page of water at the bottom of the deck. Um, let's see what your lesson is. My bear goes, my bear goes. Virgo, Virgo, Virgo. Change. Okay. Indecisiveness at the bottom. So it's going to be, it's actually going to be hard for you to um, make a decision. Um... But you need to understand that nothing's going to move or grow without movement, okay? So it's important that you don't sit on this decision for too long. So you have the sun, okay? To me, it's, it's clarity when it comes to something or it's growth, okay? Um, Kaden, please blow your nose if you need to blow your nose. Cheese. Patience. Apparently, I need that right now. Two of air and the fool, okay? So it's basically, do I want this new stat? Do I not want this new stat, okay? But the four earth, so it's like you're holding on to something. And this is where the patience is going to come in because it's like with the king of water, somebody's going to come in or it is already in your life. And, and it's going to get tricky because if somebody's going to want a new stat and the other person is holding on to something. Tell me about the sun. But if you want the change, you got to create it. You do have an opportunity. The universe has given you an opportunity. So don't sit with that situation for too, too long. It's the air to air, all right? So feeling restricted, but in all reality, it's like letting something go. And that's whatever it is that you're most definitely holding on to. Tell me about patience. So have patience on yourself, all right? It's the hierophant. You know, use, you know, have patience. You guys are probably in a relationship and there's has not been enough patience somebody's definitely i never look at it like this but i'm telling you this time around this is petty not petty somebody's holding on to something that they just should not be holding on to um so let's dig into that real quick tell me about the four of earth four of earth four of earth so have patience in this relationship something you know makes you happy so you're holding on to your happiness, all right? The new stat's not here, but you're holding on to having a new stat. You're holding on to your happy. So it's there's some type of negative thoughts here. There's some type of change that needs to happen. If it hasn't happened, that shift is coming in because I can feel it, okay? So it's like... <sighs> I don't, it's like this person makes you happy, but I, it's like, it's almost like, I don't know if you're willing to put the time in yet. And it, this is most definitely going to require time. So tell me about the two of air. So you could be dealing with somebody who's got strong Leo in their chart, okay? It's it's grounding yourself before you make a decision. Tell me about the fool. They're both looking at each other. Are we grounded enough to do this? You know, are we grounded enough? There's that 2-2. Two, 2-2-2, two. Um, two, 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 how many peace, trust, okay, balance. You know, you're looking at each other. Can we do this? You know, and then we got the sun, so... You're gonna, that conversation, that clarity, it's coming in the first two weeks of March. And it's gonna be up to you whether or not the two of you can decide if there's been enough growth in order for you guys to move forward because somebody doesn't wanna give somebody time quite yet. 
even if somebody makes somebody happy, it doesn't matter. If someone's not ready to quite give that time, someone's not ready quite yet. Um, tell me about Hierophant. All right, so it has to do with your household, uh, whoever you're living with. And there's that Ace of Cups, so there's that love, okay? So this is not going to be an easy decision. And the fact that you have indecisiveness for a lesson is... It's, they're going to make sure you sit with it. But don't don't overthink because you have to allow change. Why do you feel restricted? Tell me about the A to A. All right. So that's lack of confidence, ego-based, ego-driven. Something's going on there. Not feeling victorious, not feeling like you have the answers. But they're, you know, they're coming. Tell me about the Six of Wands, please. That's come out in every reading except for this time around. It didn't come out with these cards. It came out with these cards and it's the first time it's been reversed. So that's negativity. All right. self savage It's like you're putting yourself in this situation of negative thoughts and feeling like you're restricted. But in all reality, the clarity you need is here. It's just you're not accepting something. So tell me about this ten of water. So now you got the Ten of Cups twice, so it's there in the Fool, the Fool, and then the Fool. Okay, so now you got the Fool twice. So it's like, it's completely up to you whether or not you want this new start with somebody. But somebody thinks they, somebody doesn't deserve time. But there's there's also love here, so it gets tricky, okay? Um, sometimes what's that saying? Sometimes what's love got to do with it? You know, and it's like somebody's reached that point of, you know, I'm not going on any path unless there's some certainty here. So try to work on it um, the best you can within this household. Best advice for Virgos. Um, okay, so you got the Knight of Earth. So it's, it's time to buckle down and get things done and honor those commitments. Guardian angels are also with you and you have the high priestess. Listen to your intuition and have patience here, okay? it's We have that here too. It's that patience. And it, it's another two, okay? So you got all the twos, you know, but be loyal, be honorable, dedicate time if time is needed, but somebody's like, I don't know if I want to. So somebody's holding on to the fact that somebody is not putting enough time and effort into something. So if there's no reciprocity, then obviously your decision is going to be easier for you to make. So this is all happening in the household and somebody wants a new start and somebody's devoting more time and vice versa, but the other person is not. That's a problem. Okay. So, but if you're not talking to anybody, it looks like somebody is going to come in because this is a messenger. Okay. It's time to buckle down and figure out what it is that you guys really want to do. And just FYI, this is guided. And it might not be guided for both of you, but it's definitely guided for one person. Somebody, their guides are helping you either make this work or see you later type energy. Okay. Um, so just have patience. You know, and it is saying carefully consider before you act. So you don't make a foolish decision because there is love there. But is somebody really honestly willing to give that time? It doesn't look like somebody is quite yet, but I, I don't I don't quite know because I don't see what the conversation is about per se. Tell me about the Ace of Pence. All right, so it's tough because someone's heart is hurt. You know, someone's mind is sitting in heartache and sorrow or upset about a situation and something didn't go in somebody's direction the first time around, but someone's watching you and somebody wants to give somebody an apology. So it's a little challenging, but you can definitely get, definitely get through it. Just have patience on yourself, patience with this other person and accept the change that's coming into your life. Okay. Um, so it just depends on, again, what situation ship you're in. Let me see if I see anything else. It just looks like you can have a new start in the decision. You know, you're going to weigh on this decision a little bit. Definitely use your intuition. Um, definitely have patience on yourself. Definitely make sure there's been growth if it's worth investing time. 
get out of the whole restriction thing because somebody doesn't see the growth. So if you don't see it, then it's kind of easy for you to make your decision. Okay. Um, as I'm talking about growth, we actually have, a, um, I almost said a resurrection, but we also have, you know, some type of renewal, some type of rebirth type energy. Okay. Um, and somebody's, you know, you're, you're definitely going to get a message. So you got to use your soul. You got to use your gut and someone's a little scared to use the gut with this situation. Okay. Um, but you're, you know, you know what to do. I think some of you haven't had a conversation with this person yet. So you're kind of at a standstill. Somebody's not talking. Somebody's throwing attitude. Really just depends on, again, the situation. I kind of feel like if it's a household thing, there's something going on in the household and things aren't good in the household right now. It's, it's somebody's not willing to partake. Somebody's not willing to even out the scale. Somebody's not willing to, to ground a situation. And if that's the case, you know, for some of you, your guides are here trying to push you in the other direction. It really just depends on who's who. Okay. I love you guys. Have a fantastic first half of March. Bye, guys.